going to show you how to replace a cabin air filter on a 2012 Hyundai i30 CRD, CRDI. First, you want to what you want to do is locate these three clip, uh, two clips, and undo them like that. Then pull the cap, pull the engine, engine air filter out. It'd be easier for two hands. It's a lot easier if not holding a camera in the way. There we go. That's the old engine filter. Same brand as my Mazda 2, Ryko. Now it's the same, it's just the same procedure, reinstallation, put the two clips back and call it a, call it a day. Now if you're changing the mass airflow sensor, you're going to have to uh, just keep following, but if you're not changing, if you're not um, cleaning the mass airflow sensor, then just right after the sequence, then you're you're done. So, but if you want to ch learn how to change the mass, ch clean the mass airflow sensor, keep following this video. That is the mass airflow sensor. Make sure you go okay, when you put this back. Make sure you get the two clips in the back in, and then do the, the two clips up like so. Okay, next, unplug the mass airflow sensor. There's a little clip underneath, it can be a little stubborn. So just pull it out just like this. There you go. Now, grab your, th um, your ratchet, a uh, 10 mil ratchet, and undo these bolts. Like so, just get them untightened for starters, and then get this little hose clamp thing off. Just twist it off like that. Now, don't pull it out all the way, otherwise you won't be able to get the hose clamp to um, tie, get tightened again. And I'll show you at the end what I mean if you do have that happen to you. So just undo it like this. Don't need to do it, undo it all the way, so just keep on doing it like so. Then undo this again. And lift. Now, this can also be quite stubborn, so just pull with all your strength and pry the hose off like so there you go there's your mass airflow sensor now there's one more bolt underneath the mass airflow sensor which we'll get out now which is right there and once again just have a 10 mil um, ratchet 10 mil socket to undo these. There you go. Just get it. Just get it loosened at start it, and then once you get your mass airflow sensor out, then you can move on to cleaning the mass airflow sensor. So it's just crack it. Just crack it loose like so, and then just undo it with your hand. I just grabbed the socket off. Felt I found it easier. There we go, and it should come out just like that. Okay, now grab a little bowl or something to spray your mass airflow sensor cleaner into. Just spray the living crap out of it, like so. You 
see all that the dirt we just got out of that. That's good. That means all the carbon deposits have been cleaned off. Okay, there's a little hot wire down there. Get your spray nozzle and spray it, the living crap out of it. There you go. You can see all the carbon deposits that came out. That means that means, that means we're cleaning it, so that's good. And according to the bottle, spray 10 to 15 times. I'm using the CRC uh, mass airflow sensor cleaner, so if you want to, you just follow what my bottle does, or you can follow what yours does. Now we're going to have to wait 10 minutes. Just let it sit for 10 minutes, and then once it's done, then reinstall it. Like so. Grab your two 10 mils, put them back into the air cover. Make sure you've got the follow the reading and make sure the airflow is pointing towards the tubing towards the engine that means it's going to be reading correctly see right there right there where the right uh, the socket is it says flow make sure the airflow is going towards that tubing and it's, these don't have to be super tight so just hand tight like so, there we go. Hand tight creates a, a good enough seal. Doesn't need to be over tightened. As you can see. And done. The mass airflow sensor is back in. And now you're gonna wanna reinstall the box. See those little clips down there? want to get those two th things in to the clips show you in a second what I'm talking about next get your air hose on see that little little guard there make sure that goes into that slot so you don't have any vacuum leaks and then make sure to plug your mass airflow sensor in all right make sure you see those clips make sure those go uh, into those clips put the mass airflow sensor in until it clicks like so and then, like right there, see those little clips? Make sure those are in. And then, do these up. Make sure that's tight, the hose clamp is tied down. Which is not. Now, see this little, see this little grey piece there? Make sure you get the screw inside that grey piece, otherwise you're just going to be tightening it and the hose clamp won't actually tighten. So, make sure you line that up. I just got my sock in my sock and I just tied it hand tightened it with my hand. You can also use a screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver to tighten or loosen that. Up to you. Or you can use a 10mm socket. Once it gets tight, bring your ratchet back out and tighten it all the way down until she's snug. Like so. And then you want to put those clips back in until they click. That's one. And that's two. There we go. Alright, job done. Let's give this a start up. Thank you so much for watching. And hope you enjoyed if you want more um, if you want more content on this car just let me know and I'll make more content on that car just comment down below peace